Today we're going to plant a fig tree and we will have wonderful delicious figs to make preserves and just enjoy the beautiful fruit in the summertime. And the type of fig that we got is called, let's see if we can get this here, a celeste fig. It's self-pollinating. It needs full sun. It says to grow three together, but it's really not necessary. These are also called a sugar fig because they are so sweet. They're a little small, but one of the great things about a celeste fig is that at the bud end, they don't split like a turkey fig will. And you know, ants get in them when, when they split. So we're gonna give this one a try and see what happens, see what our look is like. So let's get to it. That's hard work. <laughs> so we have our hole dug. And you can see that there is a lot of red clay here in Georgia. So what I want to do is I want to mitigate that clay seizing up on my fig tree. So what I use is granite sand. Now, I think you can find this at a big box store. It's paper base. You could use play sand. Anything that's going to break up that, that red clay. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some of this in the hole. But I want to show you that we want to have our hole at least twice as deep as the pot. And let's see, that looks like it's about nine inches to the dirt line. So we'll need 18 inches deep. And then it is 12 inches wide. So we'll need for our hole to be 24 inches wide. Let's see what we got. Yep, we're right at 24. And we need 18 inches deep. And we're definitely met that threshold. Another thing that I wanted to show you is that we're planting this tree while it's still dormant. It's just beginning to push out some new growth. It's still relatively dormant, so we're right on the threshold of when we should put this out so that it doesn't suffer a root shock. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put sardines in the bottom of the hole. And I always just get sardines with water. Don't get it with oil, get it with, with water. And then, after I put those in there, and that'll serve as a long-term fertilizer, then I take my little coffee pods, I open those up and I pour that over the sardines so that it masks the odor. Then I'll put my granite sand on top of that, then some plant tone, organic fertilizer, and then um, I'll mix up the manure or the compost, and then also some of the jungle mix, which I really like jungle growth. I showed that to you earlier. And we'll fill the hole up. Ooh, look at me, that's hard work. <laughs> so I'll let y'all watch me do this. Oh. 
I have a sweet neighbor here that came to rescue me because they saw me out here working so hard. This is my sweet neighbor, Nick. Say hi, Nick. Hey, guys. <laughs> Nick is such a sweet guy. And he came over and he's helping me fill the, um, the hole up with compost and with the potting soil. We've got some coffee grounds in there and two cans of sardines. And that's why Janie is so interested. She yeah. loves those sardines. She doesn't understand why she didn't get to eat some. <laughs> Janie, no. No, come on, Janie. The fig tree is now planted and we hope to have some wonderful figs to share this summer. Nick, thank you so much. You're the best. No problem, Ms. Margie. Give me a thumbs up for green thumb. Green thumb. Green thumb. All right. We've got a great fig tree here, a Celeste. It's also known as a sugar fig, so they're extra sweet. I can't wait to make some fig preserves with you all when we start having figs. My neighbor has got a turkey fig just across the fence, so those are going to cross-pollinate and that'll be good for both of them. Even though they're self-pollinating, it's always good to have another fig tree nearby. Celeste has a good neighbor, and so do I. Thank you, Nick. You're awfully sweet. You're gonna be a fine young man someday. And until next time, y'all, we'll be here at Redgate Ranch Homestead. It's real, y'all. <laughs> Bye.